let us now discuss several examples. The first example here is, so example number one, we consider the automorphism group G of C over R. G of C, the field of complex numbers over the field of real numbers. Why? Because we know this field of real numbers has the field of complex numbers as the extension field. Now we have to check that what are the elements, what are the elements present in G of C by R. So this is our task. So for that what we do we consider one element a plus iota b from c that means we take some complex number where what are these a and b both are real numbers right and we take one mapping sigma from this group of automorphisms now we will check what is sigma of a plus iota b. So because now this mapping sigma is defined from extension field, extension field is c. So it is defined from c to c. So that means we will check what is sigma of a plus b. Sigma of a plus b because this is a homomorphism it would be equal to sigma of a plus sigma of iota into sigma of b and because a and b they are real numbers and this mapping sigma is an automorphism which acts as identity which acts as identity on the lower field on the field R that means sigma of A would be equal to A and sigma of B would be equal to B. So from here we can write A plus sigma of iota into B but we cannot say anything about iota because iota is an element which is present in this higher field. So iota belongs to this higher field and not here. Wherever every element of this particular field is kept same is kept fixed under this mapping sigma. Also, we know that iota square is equal to 1, minus 1, right? So we can write minus 1 is equal because this minus 1 is an element of R, so that means minus 1 would be equal to sigma of minus 1. So we can write sigma of iota square, so you could write sigma of iota whole square because why this step because of homomorphism because sigma is homomorphism so that means we have just written minus 1 as sigma iota whole square or in other words you could write sigma iota to be minus 1 square root so it would be either plus iota or it would be minus iota right plus minus of this thing. So from here we can say that because using this expression sigma of a plus iota b was equal to a plus sigma iota b and what is the value of this quantity? The value of this quantity is equal to either plus iota or minus iota. Therefore we can write sigma of a plus iota b either as a plus iota b or we can write sigma of a plus iota b as a minus iota b right so these are the only two possibilities therefore there are only two possible r automorphisms of C. 
so these are the only two possibilities because these are the only two possibilities that means these are the only elements which are present in the kalva group of automorphisms so we have g of c by r contained in the automorphism group of c why this is a subgroup of this uh, automorphism group of c because it contains all the automorphisms whereas this contain automorphisms which act as identity on r so that means this is a sub field uh, sub group of this group and moreover what would be ch what would be the fixed field corresponding to this sub group h so it would contain all the elements for this extension field c such that the mapping sigma of that element would be the same element for all mappings belonging to h where what is h where h is the subgroup of it is the subgroup of the group g c by r so that means it is a subgroup of the automorphism group so here we have constructed this we had this field as r this field extension field as c so we have constructed another fixed field over here ch which lies intermediate to these two 